Hello there, I'm Danny and this is Big Bot, Little Bot's Arm Bot and today we are looking at the Logitech G710 wireless gamepad. You may recognise this control pad because recently it's gone viral because of Ocean Gate where five people tragically lost their lives on a tour down to the Titanic on a small submarine. But the reason the F710 has gone viral is because this is the control that was actually used piloted. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Right, so we might as well start unboxing it. We're in. So, got that bit of car. That's a USB cable extender. We have, obviously, the controller itself. I feel looks a lot like the old PlayStation 2 controller. And instructions. So, you got your tab here to activate the battery. I'll just get a check. Okay. Comes with two Duracell, so that's good. They didn't cheat out on batteries. And then... Yeah, initial impressions is a little bit strange. It does feel quite retro, to be fair. Um, it feels very cheap, I'm not going to lie. Rubber on the back feels quite nice. There is a little nick out of it though that will rub on my hand and probably be quite uncomfortable after a while. Um, yeah, these buttons here, then they're clicky. Okay, I mean, um, no disrespect to Logitech, but um, this is one of the lesser quality products of theirs I've had. Generally, all their products last really well, so I'm sure it's durable. <laughs> I just, um, I'm not sure, but we're gonna test it out in some games. Let's find out. Now, as you can see on Amazon, there's been some review bombing. And if you look at this picture, you'll also notice he had modified thumbsticks on it to give more precision. But yep, this is the internet, so this is what's been going on. So it's time to find out, is this controller really as bad as the reviews say, or are people not giving it justice it deserves?
So, as you could probably see, the precision was pretty good on it. Thumb sticks are a little bit firmer than I'm used to, but I think with a bit of practice, you'd get really accurate. You could obviously adjust the settings in the game as well for the sensitivity. All the quality problems that I mentioned about maybe being uncomfortable and not feeling great, to be honest, after about 30 seconds of playing. I completely forgot about all of that, which is obviously a good sign. Now, all the buttons were as responsive as you'd need them. I usually play with a DualSense Edge, so that's about five times the cost of this control. And to be honest, I was really impressed with this control. Um, I just wasn't expecting to do as well. So in this game, if you could see, it says I got 33 kills, six deaths, and this was my first game in like a month. So to be top player straight off the bat, was a good feeling then next i moved on street by six for a little bit and it done everything i needed to do i'm not even gonna bother putting gameplay of that just because i'm so shocking and it worked really well with overwatch and i've never used a control to play it before so although it was sad circumstances that led most of us to the awareness that this controller even at this point, i would highly recommend it it is won an award too apparently as i showed you earlier there's a lot of posts around saying it was the controller's fault that caused the accident. We know this is absolute rubbish. The actual cause, from what most sources are saying, was likely to be whole integrity. I really hope Logitech will make more controllers. A modernised version of this would be great. But for only £40, this controller is really giving the big guns a run for their money. Now I'm going to be totally honest, this was the one time I've picked up a Logitech product and I didn't really have much faith in it. I mean, with all due respect, look at it, it just looks like it wouldn't perform well now. I mean, it's 13 years old and yeah, what more can I say? But I was mistaken. After using this controller in that game of Call of Duty, I was very impressed. So yeah, with a little bit more practice, easily this could become a main controller. Okay, so if this review was helpful to you, please hit that subscribe button. What are your thoughts on the control now? Has it changed your opinion of the device? And one thing I can tell you straight off the bat is if the Asus ROG Ally had a control system like that, it would be a million times better. Yeah, that blows the ROG Ally out of the water in terms of the control. Again, Logitech for a really good company, do a lot of good products, very robust. I'll leave a little video link up in a minute so you can watch another Logitech video. Um, if you are thinking about getting one now i'm going to leave an affiliate link down below so you can support the channel with no extra cost to yourself yeah i highly recommend it so what more can i say for 40 pounds excellent value and like five times cheaper than playstation Edna. anyway i've been danny and it's been big box little box unbox thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye bye big box little box <laughs>